I got some work to do with the Gulf Coast box turtle enclosure right there. Let's get to it. Their enclosure is a four by eight that I made several years ago. They don't overwinter in here. I overwinter them in the refrigerator in the house. Being more of a wetland species, I realize now that this water dish is a little too small for them. Actually a lot too small for them now that they've gotten bigger over the years. And we're gonna replace that with this. Also gonna clear out some of this vegetation here. It's gotten overgrown here with this type of violet. So we'll clear that out and make it a little, little more open for them. They get more sun. I acquired these guys when they were only a few weeks old. I've had them now three, four years. This subspecies is native to the southern United States uh, from Mexico, Texas, Gulf, the Gulf Coast there through Florida. As I mentioned before, this is the more aquatic of the subspecies of box turtle, and by far it'll grow to be the largest in size. You'll see one of the an adult size one in, in a little bit.
Now the adult Gulf Coast box turtle, I keep in this enclosure here. This guy's shy, but you can see he's a quite a big difference in size uh, being mature compared to the, uh, the the other turtles that I have in the enclosure. This guy, to give you an idea how big he is. He is. He is big and heavy. He's the only adult Gulf Coast box turtle I have. will come things will go but there's always something you should know <laughs>